Hi, we are at one of the chapels of the Santa Barbara Rescue Mission, and with me is president of this nonprofit organization, Rolf Geiling. How are you doing, Rolf? Good, good. Thanks for coming today. Definitely. We are honored to be here. So many questions for you. And first one, what is the mission of this nonprofit organization? Well, we exist to help people who are struggling with, uh, with homelessness and addiction here in Santa Barbara County. Tell me more about the history behind this organization. When was it first founded? Well, we were founded in 1965 by Chuck and Mary Pope, uh, and we were originally started as an outreach to the homeless here in Santa Barbara. Since then, we have expanded our work beyond just simply uh, providing emergency services to those in need to actually becoming a state-certified uh, drug and alcohol treatment uh, facility. How many people do you help per year? Per year, through our emergency services program, we are approached by about 40,000 people who in need of overnight stays, and then upwards of 80,000 people in needing who need emergency meals. And then we help. We have 79 beds for residential recovery, where we bring people in for 12 months and help them through our addictions recovery program. Good. And I would like to talk more about your program, but let's start with the help that you give to homeless through okay. the homeless guest service. Tell yeah. me more about that. Service. Well, we are uh, very proud because of donors who are committed to our mission and churches in the area, we are able to offer, uh, we are in fact the only place uh, between Santa Maria and Ventura that uh, is open 365 nights a year to anyone who needs emergency assistance in the form of meals, clothing, or shelter. And so every night around 6.30 we open up for a meal and then we house men and women who need a place to stay. Now let's talk about the 12-month residential treatment program right. that you have mm -hmm. here for people with addiction. Right. How can people get involved with it and yeah. how do you start? My predecessors realized that uh, there's a close link between addiction and homelessness. What we landed on was if we really want to help people who are homeless, we need to s deal with one of the root causes, which is addiction. And uh, because so many people, their lives are really torn apart uh, by addiction where they'll be on the street for decades, we realize we, re, we need to provide a comprehensive approach and we find that we can do that best clinically over 12 months. We address their education and their, their vocation in trying to take them to a point where they're able to re-enter into society. Can you share some of the topics that you see through these classes? Sure. We incorporate different models where we believe that the spiritual aspect of recovery and that God can deliver people and can help them through the recovery. So that's an important part of what we do that distinguishes us. We also see value in the 12 steps and other social model detox and social model uh, recovery programs. So we'll bring that in, but then also we're dealing with some very basic issues with people sometimes as first personal finance, anger management, and then we'll work with them through our learning center. We'll address specific realms of education. If people need to get their GED, we'll work with them on that. Or if they just need some kind of a tune-up, especially as we're thinking about people going back into the workplace, then we need to bring in the whole technological aspect of, of the workplace and how that functions to help prepare them for that. Great. Now, can we talk more about the outpatient program? How different is it from the residential one? Sure. From our experience doing residential treatment, we realize that we can be proactive. There are people in our community who are struggling with addiction. They may still have their housing, they may still be able to hold employment, but they really walk the precipice of perhaps losing it all if they're not able to find recovery from their addiction. And so we have an outpatient clinic where we have individual and and group work that we do with people several evenings a week and we help people through that program. Excellent. Now a follow-up of these two programs is the Sober Living Club. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me more about this club and how yeah. does it work? Well, as we have uh, facilities available, we do have 30 beds for uh, men's sober living. We're one of several providers of sober living facilities in our city, but what we've realized is even though people have come through uh, a recovery program or they may have come out of an institution, they need a place where they can stabilize and really start to take steps of autonomy on their own. And so we provide a place where men come, they pay rent, and what we assure them is that the facility is going to be safe, it's going to be secure, it's going to be drug free. Everybody coming in submits to a regular drug testing and also it, it addresses the need people have for economical housing and that they are paying rent but we're hopefully helping them kind of ease into the market here in Santa Barbara. And so we just believe that because of the investment we make in people coming through recovery, it's a good thing to then start to work with them on some kind of uh, appropriate steps afterwards as they move toward appropriate autonomy in the community. Great support that you give there. Yeah. Now with all these programs, how, how do you do to support yourself? How do you get funded? We don't receive any government funding at all. We are uh, funded exclusively by, uh, by private donations. 
Um, I'd say 80% of our donor base is individuals, and the rest comes from foundations and churches and businesses here in Santa Barbara. Good. So how can people get involved? Are there any opportunities for volunteers, for example? Certainly. Well, obviously, we welcome people to uh, get involved uh, in any a number of ways as, as they feel led. We do have volunteers uh, that help either just in our evening program uh, with the homeless guest services as far as being a minister of presence, a person who just reaches out to people who help with the meal and who also just, just try and form relationships with the people who are coming in. We really feel like that's an important way that we extend love and God's welcome to them. Uh, then we also have uh, individuals who get involved in the as tutors in the learning center or as mentors uh, for men and women coming through the program that just come alongside them and encourage them and start to replace some of the relationships they had uh, which may have been destructive with ones that are positive and that that further their recovery so Ralph how can people get more information well they can uh, go to our website at www.sbrm.org or they can call our office at 805 966-1316. Rolf, thank you for all that information and again, I wish the best for you and to the Santa Barbara Rescue Mission. Thank you. For more information on the Nonprofit Spotlight, check our website at www.sbchannels.tv.